I'm Ashley, and I think all the cool stuff you see online doesn't have to stay online. I'm gonna bring a stranger's digital style to life by giving their space a makeover based only on their Instagram account. Let's do it. Hey guys, it's Ashley, and I have another makeover video for you, but this time things are gonna be a little weirder than usual. I emailed my office and I said, does anybody want a bedroom makeover? If you do, send me a link to your Instagram. And I got a lot of really cool profiles, but there was one in particular that stuck out, and that was Christina Lon's profile. She sent me her Instagram along with a couple pictures of her bedroom. I was so struck by how cool her Instagram was, and I was equally surprised when she sent me pictures of her bedroom that was kind of plain in comparison into this digital aesthetic that she had going on. Let's try and make her real life bedroom match her online persona and give her just a really cool space where she can feel creative and energized and it can feel like home. Here's how everything's gonna go down. First, I'll stalk Christina online. I'm gonna use every creepy skill that I have to find out who she is and what she likes. Then comes the makeover. Christina is gonna leave me the key to her apartment and I'll have one day to make over her space in a way that perfectly fits her personality. Finally, the big reveal. We're gonna show Christina the new space and see if I was able to translate her digital style into a real life dream space. Okay, I have so much research to do and uh, things are gonna get pretty creepy, so let's get started. We are gonna stalk Christina so hard. Let's be real, we all know how to do it. Don't pretend like you haven't done it before and ended up on your high school crush's aunt's Facebook page. You know what I'm saying? We all know how to get the information. I'm just gonna use it constructively. First, let's go through all her pictures and see what her posting style is like. Her profile compared to mine is like an art gallery versus your mom's scrapbook. You know what I'm saying? There's a really obvious color theme here. Purples, peaches. <gasps> Okay, this is cool. Her hair right now is also orange and pink. I think that is a very apparent color scheme that we should go with here. In the description, she calls herself the astrologist you didn't ask for, which is funny and tells me that she's into astrology, so that's something that I can definitely incorporate. She has a link in her profile that goes to... Oh, wow, she makes music. Okay, so she's obviously artistic. I think she likes plants, maybe? First picture she ever posted is her palm holding some moss. A lot of landscapes. I think she really appreciates the outdoors, so I'm gonna try and bring the outdoors inside. Let's see who she's following. Oh, I think I need to take out my phone for this. That's the other thing. Sometimes you can get better information from the Instagram app than you can on the Instagram website. Actually, I know a lot of the people that she's following. Hmm. It seems to be mostly unverified accounts, which I'm gonna assume are her friends. The only three celebrities I see that she's following are Solange, Rihanna, and Lord. That is a really interesting trifecta of style icons. I think there's definitely some sort of common thread, like a high fashion, quirky style. Am I wrong? I think that's like kind of true, maybe. I don't know, I could also just be embarrassing myself right now. Some major takeaways from my stocking are, in terms of color, she seems to like orange and pink with a couple of lavender and blue accents thrown in. She seems to be interested in nature. She's a musician. She's a very creative and expressive person, which is awesome and something I definitely wanna incorporate into her room. She doesn't follow many celebrity accounts, but I will say the few celebrities that she does follow have a common theme, so I do think that is something that can influence how I design her bedroom. Now that we've stalked Christina, it's time for the really fun part, and that is shopping. All right, we're about to go into the room for the first time. What are your predictions? I'm kind of scared. Me too. Let's do it. We're gonna start the makeover. The first thing I'm gonna do is clear out all the accessories, all the trinkets, and as much stuff as I can get out of this room, I'm gonna take out and then bring the old stuff in with the new stuff and find a perfect cohesive placement for everything. Mm -hmm. 
One of the really big takeaways that Kana and I discovered while we were clearing out Christina's room is that this girl knows how to take care of herself. She has a lot of crystals, she has a lot of plants, she has a lot of, uh, I don't wanna say self-help books, but how would you describe that? Self-care. Self-care, right. I'm really hoping that this new bedroom becomes a space where Christina can recharge, she feels totally, authentically herself, and that it's sort of just an extension of who she is already, which is a funny thing to do because I don't actually know Christina yet. Let's go do it. I just got a notification saying that Christina tagged me in her Instagram story. Nervous, let's see what she said. Wow, remember the room looked like that only a few minutes ago. This is a good reminder of how far we've come. We were definitely right about her loving crystals because she has one with her at this coffee shop right now. She said, wondering what kind of unmentionables Ashley McGetrick is digging up. <laughs> she must have heard us. Her ears must be ringing because we've been talking about how cool she is all day, but she also must know that I went through her closet. <laughs> Oops. I totally forgot that I ordered God, so I totally forgot that I ordered a rug. I got it from Urban Outfitters Home, but I have a little bit of a decision to make because one side is green and one side is purple. This is the perfect time to send Christina an Instagram poll and ask her which side she wants facing up. little suction cup planters, but I forgot to buy succulents. Kana informed me, I did not know this, that you charge your crystals by the moonlight? Is this? Yeah, and especially a full moon. This is all new to me. Is this not like the cutest little crystal charging station? <gasps> These look so cool! We only have like 10 minutes, Christina's gonna be here, and I am not at all ready. I'm just second guessing everything. I'm nervous that she's not gonna like it. I'm nervous she's not gonna like me. I just have to stay positive. Hello? Is that Christina? Christina? Hey! Are we ready for this reveal? Yes. Let's do it. Here is your new bedroom. Thoughts, feelings, emotions. It looks like a magazine, like I just stepped into a home magazine. I don't usually put myself in spaces with a lot of color, and this is inviting positive change into my life, which is what I need. The thought process behind my board is definitely not how I go about my usual life. Now I feel like all of this is so cohesive and beautiful. I mean, you've definitely figured out like the, the me that I want to present. That's yes. interesting. Yeah, no, you absolutely nailed that. I think just like internally, this isn't how I always see myself. So that's why it's so disorienting. Would you rather your room be like this or would you rather your Instagram be like your original room? And now that I've been sitting in this, I do kind of want to see myself as the person I project. So yeah, you've opened up new horizons. Horizon? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh good. No, I'm excited to wake up to this much color. I feel like it's gonna be it's gonna put me in a really good mindset for the day. I'm gonna be ready to like roll into the office and say, I can do this. Well I'm excited. And I'll see you around the office and we'll I know, know each other. <laughs> That's why I do this. I just wanna make friends. <laughs> If you have a bedroom that you think needs makeover or any other space, it doesn't need to be your bedroom, give this video a thumbs up and then comment your Instagram handle below. And uh, yeah, I might be creeping on some of you guys to see uh, if there's any other makeover subjects out there.